Hi and welcome back to Aris TV. Now today we are here live from Process World in Berlin and I'm proud to present you my new interview partner today. It's Anne Rosenberg from SAP and she wrote together with Max Cavillo, Professor Charles Muller and Jim Hagemann Snaber a new book which is called A Roadmap to BPM. And this book will be available soon in September. And this sounds interesting for me. So, Anne, what is your role within SAP and why did you write a book about BPM? My role in SAP is that I'm uh, responsible for business process management globally in uh, business consulting. And the reason why uh, I came up with the idea about writing this uh, specific book is because, uh, first of all, a lot of companies have difficulties in understanding how you are blending BPM and SOAR together. And then also uh, we realized that it really doesn't matter what kind of company you are, it is more or less the same kind of steps that you need to go to to establish a process-oriented organization. So we thought by creating this book we really will support a lot of companies in this journey which they, which they are starting on. So can you give us a short overview about uh, the BPM methodology that you are describing in the book and perhaps can you explain us also how you prove the methodology that you are describing there? Yeah. Uh, first of all, the book has uh, different kind of methodologies uh, because the book is first of all both for business people but also for, for technical people. So um, the first part, uh, the first method that we introduce in the book is kind of the business process management roadmap where we explain what you need to do when you define your strategy. You need to define a mixed strategy in respect to business process management and um, uh, so on. And then the next step is that you need to set up the whole process organization within your company. And at the same time, you also need to start to make a transformation of your IT organization so it becomes a more a process-oriented approach that they have in the IT organization. When that is done, and it takes around, you know, depending on the company, it takes around half a year, then you will do a transition where you're rolling out uh, this approach to the whole company. Because business process management, as you also know, it is a management discipline and it's something that everybody should think and live and breathe and, and so on in the company. And then um, the last stage in this is that we have the continuous improvement, where we of course should uh, continue working with business process management and optimization. And doing this uh, roadmap, of course, uh, there's a lot about training, change management, uh, which needs to also to be taken care of. But that is part of one of the methodologies and framework that we introduce in the book. And the way this is proven is that we actually based, based it on uh, what we did internally at SAP Process Office. So all of this we have uh, uh, tried out ourselves. And then we have also tried it out on different companies in the Nordic and also in the US already. So it is definitely a proven methodology. Um, there is another one, another methodology that we are introducing in the book, which is more when we look at uh, bringing BPM and SOAR together, uh, which I think is one of the key things with the book, because uh, here we really explain you what you need to do in a step approach that, first of all, when you go into this approach, you need to define which business process scenarios is the one who will be uh, the candidate to be so enabled. Okay. And then the next step is that when you do your business process modeling, you need to ensure that you do it both from a business view and also from an IT view. And then the third step is that the governance that you create around it that you create a common governance because today we hear a lot about that you create a governance for BPM and a governance for SOA, but that needs to be one overall governance. And then number four step is that you of course ensure that you select the right service provider and you have the right services to support your processes. Okay, so you have integrated the BPM approach and the SOA approach and brought it to one common and joint methodology. Exactly, yeah. This sounds good, and as I heard, uh, you, have proven you have proven this within SAP too. So I spoke to Max Cavillo, who was also um, uh, from internal SAP side in the BPM governance area. And I just realized that you are eating your own dog food on that. Yeah. So this is uh, very good to hear. And here at Aris TV, um, we are, of course, highly interested when you are using Aris and SAP technologies within your BPM approach and what are the benefits. Can you give us more insights on that too? Yeah, of course. Um, as we also heard in the keynote yesterday, there has been a lot of confusion about uh, because SAP has now launched a new product, Business Process Management for NetWeaver. Uh, but the way it actually is that it fits very nicely together because we need to remember when we look at the overall processes in a company, 80% of the processes are, are manual processes and 20% are automated. 
and it is all processes that you will model in Iris from an enterprise perspective. So there we will definitely use Iris. And uh, when you then look at uh, the integration to the SAP part, for example, we, we uh, Visual Composer and Business Process Management for NetWeaver, this you will use for the processes that you really want to innovate, the processes which make you the best in the market, would make sure that you can be the market leader and so on. So if you look at all processes and company, we would more or less talk about 5 to 10 percent that will be the candidate to be used in, in composing tools like Visual Composer Composer and Business Process Management for NetViva. And then if you look at another area where we have a strong integration to SAP, uh, is the uh, solution manager which take care of the whole application management, which means that everything that you you create into solution should be managed by an application management system. So the way I always see it and tell people around it is that Iris is the tool for the business and Solution Manager is the tool for IT. Iris is taking care of the life cycle of the process and Solution Manager is taking care of the life cycle of the solution. So the way I see it, it fits very nicely together. Okay, and I think we also proved this within different methodologies. So SAP uh, already tested it within their internal methodology. Um, perhaps uh, some additional information um, regarding the book. What will you offer uh, uh, additionally in the book? So um, let our RSTV audience know why they should really buy the book then. Yeah. Um, first of all, uh, there is of course already a lot of books on the market regarding business process management, but I think one of the key things in this book here is that we really have this mixed, blended approach with business process management and SOA. And what we also have in the book, which is in part one, we really talk about the maturity of architecture and also the evaluation of business process management. So where we can see now we are going from the Lean to Six Sigma now to business process management. So we kind of get it from more a research and historic, historic perspective. And then um, I also think the book is important, can give a lot of values because there's a lot of customer cases in it. Uh, and uh, then you have the whole roadmap, which is really, you know, step for step what you need to do to set up a process organization. This sounds good. So I'm happy to read the book then if it comes out in September. Just again as a reminder, in September it will be available. And uh, this was RSTV live from RS Process World today. Thank you, Anne. Uh, that you had the time to speak with me uh, about the book, about the BPM methodology, and I hope that you will be back soon again. Thank you. Thanks.